Check this out. The election in America is a well important thing. So you better understand the politics of it. That's why I was here with none other than my main man, Mr. Patrick Buchanan. So you better listen up and recognize. So how long was you president for? Zero. What? I didn't make it. I failed. Ain't there the problem if you have an election every however many years, that if someone don't tell the whole truth, you've got him for like four years, isn't it? If the people make a mistake, they have to live with it for four years, or they get their Congress to throw the president out. But sometimes people lie to get in. Like when we went for my interview for McDonald's in Staines, we said that we would work well hard. But the moment we got in there, me was eating like 15 McChicken sandwiches a day and selling a bit of, little bit of McGunja on the side. And them only actually chucked me out when they found me wearing the Ronald McDonald costume, right. boning me Julian the boat. Here's what you do, though. When you're there, then, your, your organization has rules whereby they can throw you out. All right. We have rules whereby you can throw out the president. Does you think that religion should be taught in schools? Uh, if it's voluntary, yes. If it's mandatory, no. Does you think there's a way for people to make the way they teach religion more interesting? Yes. The movie, The Passion of the Christ, right. is a very effective teaching tool, I think. I heard they ain't as good as Lethal Weapon 3. No, I think it's slightly better than Lethal Weapon 3. Ain't it basically a bit of a rip-off of Gladiator? No, it's not at all. But it's like that kind of thing, isn't it? No, no, it's about the death and crucifixion of Christ. Ain't you scared, though, that because it's made so much cash, it will just make a sequel and it won't be as good, like, you know, have the blog Probably. come back to life, whatever. <laughs> what else is the election going to be for on this year? It'll probably be about Iraq. Does you think that Saddam's ever was able to make these weapons of mass destruction or whatever, or as they is called, BLTs? The, was Saddam able to make them? Could he make BLTs? Yes, at one time he was using BLTs on the Kurds in the north. Was it worth fighting a war over BLTs? I don't think Saddam Hussein and Iraq were a threat to the United States, even if they had WMDs or BLTs, as long as they weren't nuclear weapons. If you had the evidence that mm -hmm. Saddam had these BLTs in his house, would you have said yes, attack? Not unless he had, if he had anthrax, if he had mustard gas. Whatever no. he put in them. No, no. If he had mustard gas, no. Let's say he didn't have mustard and the BLTs just was plain. Would you have been able to go in there then? No. Is it ever worth fighting a war over sandwiches? Is it ever worth fighting a war? Um, yes. If you become president again, what will you do? I would change the whole country dramatically, and that's why I'm not going to be president. Yo! <laughs> Yo, for real. I was feeling that, man. Yo! Yo, is you mashed or something? You was like so giggly. Well, I'm... Uh... You had a little puff before? No, yeah, a little puff before, sure. Twist that. Yo. <laughs> you need a bit of some me on imports. We'll talk business after. Mm -hmm. Yo, so listen, ooh, you lot out there, you better listen up to the words of my man, Buchanan, because he know not things about America and the election. Listen up, word up, keep it real, West Side. Big up yourself. <laughs>